Hello, hello everyone, internet people, hope you're having a good day and you are watching DS Tech Media where we cover everything from consoles to server and all software to hardware in between, specializing in Linux and free and open source software. And today we're going to be looking at Caden Live version 1908. This is the uh, latest release. And Caden Live is probably the most popular open source video editor, particularly on Linux. I have featured Caden Live as a, a small part of one of my videos I did about producing content on Linux, but I've never actually uh, focused on Caden Live as a spotlight. I have also used the uh, Shotcut 2.0, and I've done a video review of that. But with the new release of Caden Live, there's some new features that are interesting, and I figured we might as well take a look. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the Caden Live website. And for the highlights, we've got three point editing with the keyboard shortcuts, which I'm going to be demonstrating. Uh, the, the way this works is your source is in the project bin and your target is your track in the timeline. They've also redone the timeline entirely, which I'll be showing you in a second. And we can scrub our project bin clips now. We can adjust our speed in a new way. And the capture functionality has some added features. You can switch between mono and stereo and choose your sample rate. And if yours looks different than mine, uh, that's simply because I'm using the uh, Krita neutral theme. I've also gone ahead and reshaped the layout to the way that I use it. So as you can see, the timeline now consists of audio and video tracks being separate. And that means that you can no longer have audio video in the same track. This was a little upsetting to me at first, but it's it's not that big of a deal in the end. So staying focused on the timeline. We now have, uh, we can make tracks active by simply clicking them or hitting the A button. So that arms the tracks or activates the tracks. Additionally, we can arm the tracks for insertion by clicking the far left corner and making it green. And we can also select our in and out points with the I and O keys. So if I click I, I now have my in point. And if I click O, I now have my out point. So with those armed, now we're in the timeline and if we simply click V it will insert our highlighted portion into the timeline
also uh, in the project bin itself if we hold shift we can actually scrub through the videos in the timeline you'll see they're changing over there and this is actually very useful If we hold shift, we can adjust only the video. Or only the audio. And probably my favorite part, if we hold control, we can adjust the speed of the clip. And if we hold control shift, we can ju adjust only the speed of the video or only the speed of the audio. And as I mentioned before, They've added extra features to the capture dialog, but I've honestly found that um, it, it doesn't really work, and that may be because of my hardware. I'm not really sure. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the, uh, the new changes. The stability definitely seems to have gone up. I, I definitely think it's more stable than it was before. And I'd highly recommend uh, giving it a shot. This is section I'm, I'm always working on new videos I'm actually working on a big project about producing music with Linux and I intend for that to be a candidate for the definitive guide to music and audio production on Linux yeah please subscribe like and share if you found this at all useful would love to know what you think of would love to know what you think uh, if you want to subscribe to our other channels we are on library bitshoot and dtube slash steamit I also occasionally publish articles to steamit medium and minds and we're on minds gab I just created an Instagram there's nothing there yet but I leave links to everything in the video description, so be sure to check there if you want to follow us on our other platforms. As always, I thank you for watching DS Tech Media, and I'll see you in the next one.